BC, BSCL. I don't need no playmate with Quazy. Me and Quazy can't talk about nothing. I'm I'm a fucking, I'm a smart ass guy. Quazy is, is not. Quazy not a smart guy. We can't talk about shit, but I, I still, I, I, I did want to see Quazy stand up for itself. The same with LJ. The week before LJ uh, cooked Monty, me and LJ was talking shit about each other. Me and Mike was on, was, was, was roasting LJ. And then when Monty said some fly shit, I said, LJ, and I'm telling you like this here, Quazy. It's like LJ. I said, LJ, don't let this motherfucker slide. I said, Monty cannot fuck with you in a roast. If you cook that nigga, he ain't got shit for you. LJ cooked the fuck out of him. Okay, you riding solo by yourself, so why you took the videos down? If you riding solo, I ain't asked you to team up with me, Quazy. I don't need nobody help. I don't even fuck with this YouTube shit. I'm over here getting paid. I'm over here making money. Trick. The shit, but, but and I'm gonna tell you something. I don't. I, I, before that, before that, man, I, I go weeks and weeks without making video, Quazy. You know this shit because you my fucking fan, nigga. I go weeks and weeks without making video. When I, when I, but when I saw that, when I saw you, I said, I said, I said, I said, Quazy stood up for itself for a change. I like that shit. We ain't gotta be friends. Just like, just like, you know, I, I, I'm a good example, like, like wrestling. Like wrestling, okay? Well, for years and years, a uh, million dollar man used to, used to, um, million dollar man used to, used to, uh, used to use Virgil, used to use Virgil for a flunky. He's a clown Virgil. He said Virgil, what up, Chris? He said Virgil to get his ass beat by everybody. And then one day, Virgil said, fuck it, I'm not gonna be your fucking slave no more. And that was a good wrestling story. We, I was glad to see Virgil stand up for himself against a million dollar man. So, to me, you was Virgil and Monty was Ted DiBiase. You was his Virgil, you was his fucking slave. And when you stood up for yourself, I was glad to see that shit. I was happy to see that shit. I ain't gotta do no being no sense with Monty. I give a fuck, really, about Monty. If I really, really gave a fuck, I'd go up there. i know that nigga live. I make too much money to let this nigga fuck with me. The nigga, the nigga say that he can get me fired from any job moving forward. He say he got all my information. So if you got this, why go get me fired from this one? Since you got so much information, nigga. He could get me fired when I was making that fucking almost five grand a week when I was in Florida. He could get me fired from that either. I give a fuck about him. If I if I really give a fuck, I'll be on his doorstep, beating his ass in front of his fat ass wife and his fucking daughter. So I'm not. I don't have no motherfucking obsession. But crazy, the one who's obsessed is you. When you and then look, I'ma tell you something too, crazy. Don't don't leave my nigga. Cause you say you riding solo, you not riding solo. You ride on the Monty's coattails again. You his flunky again, crazy. So Monty on your mind. No, 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 that's that's not true. He on your fucking mind because you went back. He on your fucking mind. On real time, nigga, not because this shit was perfect. He did punk out. And I'ma tell you, I know what happened, crazy. I don't, I, I don't forget, I was, I, was, I was his big brother for a long time. I was Monty's big, he older than me, but I was his big brother. This nigga called you on the phone, you hung the phone up like I don't wanna talk. He called you again, you hung the phone up like I don't wanna talk. He kept calling till you said, what the fuck do you want? Listen, crazy, listen, crazy. I'm, I'm gonna give you the easy way out, bro. Take the fucking videos down or you gonna regret it. You gonna regret it, and, then, and I bet, hey, crazy. And then look, and look, and this, is how, this is how money talk when you get scared. Crazy, crazy, what are you doing, crazy? I think I forgot that video down, crazy. I think I got that video down. Crazy, crazy, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you rushing my way, crazy? He probably threatened you with some shit. And then, and then he, like I said, he probably played on your fucking sympathy. And you took the video down. I would've took shit down. Crazy, you, you had that, you had that. You had, man, you had a flawless victory. Now, if you go back and cook him, he gonna look like a fucking fool. You had a flawless victory on that motherfucker, crazy. I don't give a fuck. I don't need nobody to ride with me. I'm just telling you as a fucking man, nigga, I ain't got no real beat with you. He threatened, he probably, no, nah, he ain't threatening to shoot crazy. That, that sis ass nigga ain't finna shoot shit. He ain't finna shoot nothing but the bird because he gonna shoot somebody, he would shot that dyke ass bitch that took his wife. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it up. I, I took the screen down yesterday because I had walked past a boat that uh that worked for our company and it had a name on the side of the boat. And I ain't feel like going for that bullshit. But like I say, 
like I say, man, I say, Quavy, and look here, Quavy. The reason you over here, because you know I'm right. You know I'm right, Quavy. He gonna flip, look here, Quavy. Look, 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 look how he did Jimmy. Him and Jimmy squashed the beef, and Jimmy thinking they cool, and what he was doing, he recorded Jimmy conversations. He started talking, he, what he say to Jimmy, you cooked my wife, I never forget that. Crazy, you cooked his fucking wife in 2013, and then they let Lamar, Kirby Cuz, cook the fuck out of his goddamn wife. Monty called me on the phone crying. I'm on that boat. He, I said, man, man, he roasted my wife. I said, you know what, Monty? I don't want to hear that fucking shit. I told you to leave Kirby Cuz alone. At the time, I had cooked the shit out of Lamar, and Lamar was defeated. The only reason Lamar became big in this sector because I cooked his ass. Monty, he not Monty being a fuck nigga, he let to go pick up the pieces. He kept making videos. Remember the crazy? You was there, crazy, crazy. Cause remember you was you was you was Kirby Cuz flunky at the time, and Monty kept on kept on cooking Lamar, kept cooking and these corny ass low down videos. Hey man, Lamar, let's go in the business together. Let's open a sperm bank. <laughs> this shit wasn't even fucking funny. The nigga went and bought a fucking flannel shirt and a wig. Call himself being um, call himself roasted fucking um, Kirby Cuz. Remember that crazy? You remember this? He kept cooking Kirby Cuz. I said I call. I was on the boat. I said Monty, this shit you going too fucking far. Leave this shit alone. This shit is done. You not already cooked the motherfucking man. The man not even responded to you. Leave it alone. Monty said. He said fuck that. Fuck that. I bought this goddamn costume. I'm gonna ride this shit to fucking wheels fall off. What happened? What happened? Crazy. Somebody got a hold of his 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 wife pictures. You came and cooked the shit out of his wife. That was 2013. You wrote the better and Kirby Cuz from, from from one week to the next. The nigga called himself cooking Kirby Cuz. He calling me, blowing my phone, I'm crying. <gasps> Get that motherfucker! Get that motherfucker! Get him! He cooked my wife. I said, man, I don't want to hear that fucking shit. I said, I asked your stupid ass to leave Kirby Cuz alone. Quit, quit, quit beating a dead horse. He did the same shit with Clifton. Kept on cooking Cliff. Kept on getting the Cliff. Been lit the shit. He keep making videos after video like he doing Omar. Same he do Omar. Beating a dead horse. Just keep going and keep going. So he kept beating a dead horse. So Kirby Cuz cooked his fucking wife. And guess where Kirby Cuz get that from? You. You cooked the bitch and he came and cooked the bitch again. He refried that fat ass bitch. And then motherfucker crying like a bitch. You think Monty forgot that? You just cooked this fat bitch a, a, a few days ago. Crazy. You think he gonna forget that shit? You gonna let that shit go? I don't need fake love, nigga. I'm good. I'm not giving you no fake love. Crazy. Listen, crazy. I'm not giving you fake love. I told you I don't need you on my team. I think you fucking retarded, but I don't hate you, bro. I, don't, I think you retarded, but I don't think you a bad person. Nah, I, I was finna beat your ass a couple years ago. That's not fake love.